there's one article on your blog called eight lies you know i forget mm -hmm. the whole title but you know all the things you thought were true that aren't yeah and, eight lies that you've been told about your debt right yes and uh, when I read that, I was actually really, I thought, oh, yeah, I've heard all of this and I believed it. Mm. And so what I did, can you speak to me a little bit about how uh, credit companies uh, will sell debt to other companies? And, mm. and that sort of gives you, I don't want to say additional leverage, but, you know, there, it's like a whole different shoot and match. And I think uh, people don't generally know about that kind of thing. Right. So typically, if, if uh, a debtor is unable to make payments on a line of credit or a credit card, uh, that that company will try for the 60 to 90 day period to collect on their own. After about 90 days, they will sell that debt. So it's actually an asset. So the debtor doesn't own the debt. The creditor owns the debt. And that debt is now an asset that they can actually sell to a collection agency. And collection agencies will buy that debt for sometimes 30 cents on the dollar 20 cents on the dollar so the bank will redeem some of the money and write the rest off of course and now your debt belongs to the collection agency these people are very aggressive and they're very good at their jobs and they're very intimidating and their goal is to collect of course the original amount of the debt plus the ridiculous interest that they charge and so when they can, if they can get you to make a settlement offer with them anywhere near the original value or even 50 percent they're still making a profit because they bought the debt at 23 cents on the dollar. Wow. Boy, that's significant.